Hi, this is Tim. It's Kamala Harris. Good morning, Governor. Good morning, Madam Vice President. Listen, you weren't my first choice. To be honest, you weren't even in my top 10. But no one else wants to run as my VP because they all know I'm going to lose. You are the only one who is willing to be my running mate. Yeah, I mean, this is basically career suicide. But I did some dumb shit a few years back, and now I'm totally controlled by the deep state. And so they told me either I become your running mate or I get Epstein in a New York prison. Now, the fact that we're both radical communists is a slight problem. But I got some instructions from Big Daddy Barack. Basically, we're going to pretend that you're a normal American white guy. There's a bunch of things you did that we got to run away from here. You passed a law requiring tampons in the boys' bathroom in schools. You basically cheered on the George Floyd rioters who burned down your cities. You implemented a snitch hotline during COVID. And Tim, you signed a law that allows the state to take custody of children if their parents refuse to let them transition. I mean, what the f***, Tim? We got a lot of cleanup to do here. But listen, we already got the mainstream media gaslighting America into thinking that you're super normal. This is America's dad, America's football coach, and the teacher that's cool enough without trying to be cool a lot of people have noticed this sort of down-to-earth, uh, likable quality to him. He's very moderate in Congress. A moderate Democrat. A centrist, but a more centrist. Kind of a centrist Midwesterner in persona. That's pretty funny because I'm weird as f***. Americans are dumb, Tim. They'll believe anything we tell them. They are so dumb, right? They think I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the plan. In order to hide your own weirdness, we want you to accuse Trump and J.D. Vance of being weird. Just say it over and over again. Weird, 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 weird. And then they start being weird. They're weird, 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 weird. Donald Trump's weirdness. Very weird, weird. It's just too weird. It's weird, weird. Okay, so how far left are we admitting to being here? Like, are we openly woke? We have to stay woke. Like, everybody needs to be woke. <laughs> and, and, and you can talk about if you're the wokest or woker, but just stay more woke than less woke. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 we're flip-flopping on everything right now. We want to keep the voters confused. You know when your GPS suddenly starts rerouting inexplicably and you have no idea where you're going and you're afraid your GPS might just drive you off a cliff? We're exactly like that. What do we say if reporters ask us about policy stuff? Oh, we're not taking questions from reporters, Tim. We're not prepared for that. But if you do find yourself in a tricky spot with a reporter, just cackle. Cackle. Yeah, you know, cackle. You're considered the most liberal United States senator. I, I Somebody said that, and it actually was Mike Pence on the debate stage. But yeah. <laughs> and is that a socialist or progressive perspective? No. <laughs> What do you want to know? <laughs> wow, that's horrifying. Exactly. It's horrifying, but distracting. Okay, so Tim, tell me, your radical left political views, are those real? Oh, no, of course not. No, honestly, I will have whatever political views you pay me to have. I love it, Tim. You're like the white male version of me. You're right. No one voted for me either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kamala, let's see what can be unburdened by what has been. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Hey, you ever noticed that Harris Waltz sounds like Harry Balls? Um, I had not noticed that. Thank you for that. Bye, Tim. So what do you think of that ad, folks? That is absolutely fantastic. That was done, I believe, by someone by the name of Mr. Reagan. So courtesy of him put together. I mean, that is absolutely priceless. That is something that has to be snipped up, cut up, and put into ads. That would be an absolute phenomenal ad buy. I mean, just to put that up there, that's exactly what they need to do. They need to put this ad every single time Trump goes out. Just have your clicker out there. Come on, Donald. Come on. That's what you need to do. Be on the stage, say your stuff, and then go, folks, click it. Click it. Click it. Let it play. Let it play in their own voices. This is incredible, folks. I mean, that was just, that hit every single salient point. Exactly what's going on. That's exactly what they're doing. Wow, wow, wow. That was a great, just absolutely fantastic. Folks, share this as much as you can. You all know what to do. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Like, share, and follow us. You all know what to do. My final, oh, check out our video links above and below. My final thought is always, when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. 
Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.